할렐루야 땡큐 로드 아 Ah, this time we're going to enjoy together by the word of God. I want to share the word of God about the repentance. Repent. We should repent. Yeah, we need to repent. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a very important issue for the Christian, the repentance. Why? So I want to explain to why we do. Uh, you know the word of me that repent. We should repent. First, I go to uh, and, uh, the word of God. I want to tell you that something. Uh, you know, hurricane, Harvey, you, you know, though. After hurricane, Harvey dismissed. Tid and Houston and Texas Gulf Coast. Hmm? Listen, my brother, this very important topic you should know. Concerning, uh, oh yeah, I tell you the dependent. Hurricane Harvey smashed in Texas. The Gulf Coast in yeah, Hurricane Seed. The Donald Trump, United States, declared declared what? A day of national prayer. A day of national prayer. You remember that? Hmm? September 3, it was September 3, a day of national prayer because of disaster, hurricane, and the storm, the, the mountain fire, every disaster had happened in this country. Big natural disaster had happened. Trump said, Trump quoted uh, Psalm 46. Chapter 1. Yes. God is our refuge and our strength. I believe you've heard. Hmm? Very present help in trouble at that time. Listen, keep listening, my brother and sister. In hurricane season in 2017, all the church in across the America, the believer came, gathered together, pray, the cry out to the Lord, Oh God, help us this country. Don't send the storm, hurricane, and destroy this country. I prayed. You prayed. All Christian this country, you remember that? Yeah? Came, the one prayed in the church, pray for the God we believe. Huh? What happened? Hurricane stopped? Is it finished? No. 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 You know what happened. Huh? But instead of the, 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 the response of the God when all believers in America and church cry out to the Lord, Hurricane came. His name is Imma. <laughs> Imma. Eh? Uh, Smash the Caribbean, destroying Bermuda. 
Io li mando te. E eh? uno no da island. It's not finished yet. And Florida. Then hurricane Maria. Another hurricane, big hurricane came and hit the Florida. Wow. Huh? More than 100 people were killed and 100, $300 billion damaged. Hmm? Hurricane Harvey, Imma, Maria continually came to hit Southern America, Florida, Caribbean Sea, and Puerto Rico. You know that. So what I'm saying now, I'm not talking to the natural disaster. It, again, we never, I want to remember the again. No. I want to tell you, I want to tell you, and I want, I want you understand why God didn't hear our prayer. Why didn't respond to the believers who eagerly desire to pray the God's protection of the natural against the natural disaster. We American believers prayed, but God did not allow to stop the hurricane. You know, and make the, the cause send a hurricane again and again. Even we prayed long time all over the, this country. What happened? God is dead? No. God didn't give an answer. Here's the reason. You should know. That's why I'm telling you. This is the main point. I want to explain. I want to tell you the reason why God didn't respond to the believers whom we love. Mm -hmm. If you compare President Trump's proclamation, as, as I told you, he made the day of national prayer after America got the by disaster, Hurricane Harvey. To the other national proclamation of prayer. I want to tell you, I, I want to give you an example. You can find a very stark difference between the, 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 the Trump that had made and other president that had made before. In each of the case where God dramatically responded to the days of the prayer and the miraculously intervened. American readers had not only called on their citizen to pray and Fast and repent. Other president in America ordered and asked the, the citizen that we have to pray and repent firstly. Trump didn't say. 
Mm. And I want to tell you the example. Ah, George Washington, John Adams, in in revolutionary war in America, you know. Abraham Lincoln in civil war. Hmm. And World War One, Woodrow Wilson. World War Two, Harry Truman. All those president ask the people. We have to pray and fast and repent for the, our country. What happened? God immediately responded. God saved America from the enemy. History testified what God had responded and answered at to 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 save this country. Hmm? Since 1988, it had been held on the 1st Thursday in the May. 1st Thursday in the May, it is national prayer. I want to tell you that Abraham Lincoln, what he said, it behooves us then humble ourselves, humble ourselves before the Lord. Huh? To confess, to confess our national sins as already in the video. Confess, firstly confess our sin and pray for the mercy and forgiveness. That's Abraham Lincoln said. Huh? It's totally different what Trump said. To pray to together. First, those president I've told you, ask the citizen to pray the repentance. God Respond. That I today's message I want to tell you is repentance. Hallelujah. Huh? So Bible said, oh hallelujah, I don't have much time, so I gotta hurry up. That oh. here's how the apostle Paul said Acts 20, chapter 21. Testifying both to the Jews and also Greek repentance testified what gospel what God had what God had done for the Jewish people to the people who believe God this is a testifying testimony but repentance listen my brother and sister I know you are, you are to, to repent for the God. I know. Yeah. Repent us toward God. And listen, faith you have toward the Lord our Jesus Christ. I say again. Huh? Huh? Are you listening? What I'm saying? Repentance. Ah, ah. I repent what I have done. I I really I kneel down before the Lord. What 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 what, what, what I've been doing? I've ah, I surrender to you. To whom? To God, not Jesus Christ. Huh? But faith you have toward Jesus Christ, his son. So you should know the difference. 
Many people know, you know the, you know the, why we must have faith toward Jesus Christ. Uh, we must believe on and accept Jesus Christ. Uh, he just sacrificed for the, to be reconciled to the God. Yes, hallelujah. Uh, but how deeply do you understand repentance toward God? Obviously, repentance is of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit comes to you, your mind. Let the Holy Spirit repent to the Lord. Not you yourself to repent to God. Holy Spirit helps you to repent to the Lord. That the Holy Spirit one of work, this job. Is Holy Spirit help you. Hmm? Oh, hallelujah. But, it says, you, we should know, uh, the goodness of the God, how good is God? Hmm? Your God is good. I can't explain how much God is good for you and me. Huh? How much and uh, how, how great is, how loved us he had doing for you. I don't know what to explain about this matter. That I want to tell you the scripture, Romans 2, chapter 4. If you listen to this word, you know how God is good for you and compared to yourself, how bad is myself. You know that now. I understand the God, how God is good. I realize that how God is good for me, is being good to me. Do you, <laughs> do you, do you show contempt, listen, for the riches of his kindness, his kindness, his tolerance, and the patience not realizing you, you didn't know you don't know not realizing that God's kindness leads you toward repentance hmm? do you realize how God good is how good he is for you, how much he has, he has given you. When we evaluate ourselves and compare ourselves with the goodness of God, we see, listen, my brother and sister, we see, you know, I know how evil we are, how bad we are. That's what, I, that's what I'm telling you now. How God is, is not compared to us. Huh? Compare, let's I say again over and over. Huh? Compare yourself, with, compare the goodness with God's plan, God's goodness. And, and you start to see we really need repent toward God. That's why I want to tell you now. After compare how you are, how old you, how how old you are bad, how how, how has it been bad thing, how how behavior in evil thing, how I did against God. 
Die wereldgeest gaat u weer. En denk op wat. Ah, my God, save to my life. God, God still love me. Oh, my father in heaven still love me. Even I, against God, offend God. God still love me. You know, the Romans 5, 8. When you were still sinner, he died for you. His son died for you. Huh? Oh, my, my time is, 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 is getting close. Well, listen, I, 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 I want to tell you this story. Abraham, James 22, Abraham proved he was willing to sacrifice the son of for God. You know, the, he offered his son, only son, Isaac, to the God. God said, give me my your son. He said, no, no, no. He obeyed what God said. Huh? He obeyed. Why? This is the kind of the face of the Abraham. You, you, oh, before go there. God, 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 God called him. God called him. Uh, ah, this is uh, Genesis 15. I think for verse 5. Abraham said, because uh, at that time Abraham didn't have the son. This man, they talk about the Israel. This man will not be your heir, but the son, son, they talk about the Isaac, coming from your own body. Hallelujah. Will be your heir. I want more detail the, 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 the word of God said concerning this. Genesis 21, 12 is very, very important. You should know God, that Abraham's believe. Because it is through Isaac, not easy. As Isaac reckoned that your offspring will be. Abraham believed this word God had told him. Your son will be, Isaac will be your heir, not Isaac. Abraham had received this word of God. God the Spirit touched him. He accepted this word without doubt in his mind. So God, after that, Genesis 22, God tasted him. Oh, come on, give me your son. If I were him, oh no, God, please, I, I couldn't do that. Abraham said, Immediately obeyed what God said. And he offered his son, only son, Isaac. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Can I have amen? Oh. Because, because this is very important, I want to tell you. Oh, oh, that is very good. That, oh, this is very, you should, I need to understand what I'm saying, the, 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 the Abraham face. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Oh. Abraham believed, Abraham believed, 
God saved his son Isaac. Abraham had offered to him. Hebrew chapter 11, 11 chapter 17 through the 19 clearly said Abraham's face. Listen. Abraham reasoned that God could to raise the dead. Amen. And figuratively speaking, figuratively speaking, he did receive Isaac, listen, back from the dead. Abraham believed. The, the Hebrew also certified Abraham's face. I say again, in bad way. Abraham believed that God could raise the dead. Abraham believed. Can you believe that? Dead man can be okay? Do you believe? Abraham believed. And he did receive Isaac from dead. That he could afford his only son to God. Because Abraham believed Isaac will never be died. God will be God will save him. Abraham believed. Hallelujah. So I I want you. I want you. All the people like Abraham. I want you. All the people to Abraham like his family, God's family. Hmm? God's family, God's people who would go out and sacrifice their his own son to God if necessary. I'm talking about your belief. Hmm? Abraham had that kind of face. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we can forget that in our dual mind, the kelloge, carnal thinking, we've been thinking. But God the Father never changed. Hmm? I say again, meditate, think about the God's goodness. Hmm? Oh, his mind is perfect. He never changed. We must strive for this kind of repentance today. Hmm? Hallelujah. We are all Christ killers. We killed Christ. We have killed the first morning. Serve our beloved Father. You killed, I killed. We have to repent before the Lord. Huh? I want to tell you this godly sorrow and worldly sorrow before I finish this summer. This is very, very important. You listen. I want you to listen. Two kinds of sorrow concerning the repentance. Godly sorrow 
God wants to you to repent. Worldly sorrow. This is the second Corinthians 7 chapter 10. Hmm? Listen, Godly sorrow brings repentance. Godly sorrow. That leads to salvation and leaves no regret. That is Godly, godly sorrow. God wants to repent as this method. Hmm? But worldly sorrow brings death. See, hmm? I want you, yes, first me, we have to do godly sorrow that God wants to, uh, to repent as his method, his way that leads us to salvation, to, to death, get the everlasting life in heaven. Oh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Huh? We have to contact with Godly repentance and Godly thinking like a God. We have to think about that. Lead us this, this to heaven to the, the salvation if we do repent as a way of the God's way, not worldly sorrow that to lead death. Hallelujah. That's a real repentance. God wants us. We have to do the you will see the salvation of the God. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray the Lord. Amen. Pray the Amen. Pray the My brother, I love you. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.